One of the best ways I think you can improve your contact center is by doing a weekly agent analysis, kind of a 15 minute overall, I guess, review of all the things that your agent is doing to try to help them progress through your company, um, become a better agent and hit the goals that they like, right? So the first thing that we do is do the actual review, right? Talk about last week, talk about the goals that, that we have. Um, get very specific with where they're not hitting things. The supervisor has to be very prepared for this. The second thing that we would do is address any issues, right? This used to be for us, I know a lot of people are lax at dress code. We had a pretty strict dress code. We work for a lot of financial services companies, but now it's turned into, you know, are you saying things that are inappropriate in Slack? Um, a lot of this is, is time elemented things. Are you coming back late for break, late for lunch? You know, talking about kind of those maybe touchy issues to make sure that that agent um, understands kind of the expectations of where they need to be. The third part of this is, is goal planning, right? So we want to give very specific individual goals, not overall KPIs for, for a program. I think that's where people make mistakes, right? You might have an agent that's a little bit newer. We might have an agent that is struggling with a concept. So you know, whether it's handle time, whether it's their QA score, whether it's a cross-sell, upsell metric from a sales metric, give them something that is specific to them that they can hit for that next week. Not looking for you know six weeks down the road, but when we have this conversation next week, what is something that we think that they can improve upon to, to get to that goal? One of the things that we don't talk about enough is how do we progress our agents, right? So this is a big part of this. You know, find out, do they want to be a manager? Do they want to be a team lead? Do they want to work in HR? Do they want to be a client services person? Do they, what department in your company maybe could they progress to? Maybe they're just a college kid that wants to be a financial planner and we can maybe get them into our finance area, our accounts payable or receivable. I think those are really important things in, in discussing how do we get on that path to get them to that that level, right? Do, do you have specific QA scores they need to hit? Do their attendance have to be at a certain number, right? Looking at all those kind of things to, to get them to where they need to be. And I think the last thing with this is making sure that we document all this, right? It's, it's kind of when they say it, it's not a goal until you write it down. And I think that that's important with this, right? So whether it's an Excel, whether you have a, a database set up, uh, whether you're just doing this on a Word document and saving it. I think it's really important to be able to look back at all the things and all the progress that this agent has made. I think it's really important to see, wow, I can really do this. And, and to have all that stuff documented really means a lot. Um, and and it can, it's, a, it's a constant reminder of, of where your agents have been and, and kind of where they're going. So I think hopefully this helps you. I think it's something to, to really put in place as you're looking kind of to, at the end of the year here to, to, to hopefully help improve the contact center, improve your agent, improve the morale, um, and get agents to where they need to be.